Now, France's presidential campaigns are now in full swing, but the front runners find themselves caught up in financial scandals. The leader of the far right, Marine Le Pen, says she will not repay the $321,000 that the European Parliament says she misspent. She's accused of using the money to pay an aide at the party's headquarters in Paris. Le Pen says she's the victim of a politically motivated vendetta. And the presidential candidate for the center-right, François Fillon, also faces questions over his finances. Anti-corruption police have raided his office over allegations that his wife was paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for work that she did not do. A local newspaper is reporting that she may have earned even more money than previously thought. Well, for more analysis on that, journalist Peter Hume can join us now live from Paris. Hi, Peter. First of all, have anti-corruption uh, investigators actually found anything incriminating yet against Fillon? Uh, well, they haven't actually uh, come out and said anything directly. However, the indications uh, uh, amongst uh, certain uh, parts of the French media are that they've, they have found no proof that she ever did work, uh, was officially registered, had a, had a badge, any evidence of any kind of work or documentation that she did during this time when uh, she was uh, meant to be this parliamentary assistant um, working for her husband, Francois Fillon. So what the French are calling Penelope Gate is by no means over. The sums uh, seem to go up uh, almost by the day. It was the, uh, the satirical weekly newspaper, Le Canard Enchaîné, that broke the story last Tuesday. And uh, just uh, yesterday, Tuesday, this week, they said the sums involved uh, could well uh, exceed one million euros. And... What's further, his two sons, or their two sons, the Fion uh, two, two boys, were paid for legal advice for carrying out uh, work on behalf of their father in the capacity of, uh, of uh, legal uh, advice uh, or uh, all sorts of uh, work that uh, was apparently given to them. And the, the two kids at the time uh, hadn't even qualified as, uh, as lawyers and were remarkably young, in fact. So uh, this seems to be spreading. As for Francois Fillon, he says, well, this is obviously a very well-organized, to quote him, very professional uh, attack on his uh, reputation and character, but this is not allaying any fears amongst the uh, the senior members of the Republican Party who are now beginning to think, well, this is our candidate. He's being dragged through the mud on this uh, financial scandal. We better start thinking of a plan B. A plan B, indeed. Okay, what about uh, Marine Le Pen? Is this for her the kind of negative publicity that she might welcome as an anti-EU candidate, or is it actually potentially very damaging? Well, she's certainly no stranger to uh, controversy, of course. Uh, she has uh, run into financial trouble, shall we say, with the French authorities, uh, who claimed that uh, the Le Pen uh, dynasty, uh, stretching back to her father, back uh, to the 70s and 80s, uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen, the founder of the Front National, uh, both he and his daughter now, Marine Le Pen, uh, have not been declaring all their income to the, uh, to the French state. So that's, that's something that's been uh, brewing. Uh, for several years, in fact. But now this latest one with the European Union, uh, they claim, uh, authorities, uh, financial uh, authorities of the European Union claim that uh, she's been using uh, t essentially taxpayers' money to uh, finance her office and employees in Paris, and also someone that she says was an assistant, but in fact turned out to be a bodyguard when she traveled to, to Brussels. Now, she says she's not paying, but she will, in fact, be paying, because the, uh, her salary will not be paid in full. Uh, she will be fined, instead of receiving approximately 10,000 euros a month, which would be a salary plus uh, perks and benefits that uh, European um, members of parliament receive, apparently she will be receiving just 3,000, so she'll be slowly paying it back one way or another. Okay. Peter Hume joining us there from Paris. Thanks so much for that.